Hey, welcome back, everybody, to another fine Thursday afternoon. We're going to do another TTM video. We get a lot of autographs, TTM, or through the mail, simply by sending our favorite athletes and celebrities cards, photographs, magazines, just about anything you want signed, they'll sign pucks, balls. We have about six cards today. Let's get right to it. The first one's coming from... Tampa, St. Pete, a beautiful place to both visit and live. And it is Rick Rennick with a busted top loader. Toss that in the trash. Rick Rennick with a ballpoint pen on the 70 tops and the 72 tops. A little damaged in the, in the damaged uh, top loader. That's okay. Let's feature that 72 tops. Why don't we? Rick Rennick, he's uh, 77 years old, former utility player. There you see it's third base and outfield there. He also played a little shortstop, a little second base. Uh, kind of a utility player most of his career. Played for 14 seasons from 65 to 78, almost all of which for the Twins, as you see in those two cards. He began a coaching career after uh, his playing career ended almost immediately afterwards for the Royals, Expos, back with the Twins again. Pirates and uh, Marlins. And he was the third base coach in 1987 when the Twins won a ring. 1987 World Series champ. Seven days, no fee for Rick Rennick. Next one's coming from the Atlanta Metro. Atlanta Metro. Craig Grayback. This has been out for a good bit. Nice little signature he's got there. First time we've received him back on the 92 upper deck and the 90 upper deck. Two for two. I think we sent him two. Got two for two back. He's 56 years old. He was a former infielder, 12 seasons. 90 to 2001 for five different teams, mostly for the White Sox, as you see in these two cards. About half of those, actually. And uh, he was another part-time player who could play a lot of positions. Let's feature that 92. Welcome to Utility Player Thursday here on uh, the channel. Glad to have you in. <laughs> 58 days, no fee for Mr. Graybeck. Well, they said his locker, he's just a little guy. Let's see his height and weight, 5'7", 160. That may have been soaking wet. But he used to have his locker right beside the big hurt, Frank Thomas, 6'5", 260. Huge monster of a man right beside Greyback. All right, next one coming from Cincinnati, Ohio. WKRP. Oh, there's a full-time player. He's not a utility player. Tim Crumry. Stuck that in there pretty tightly. That's what she said. On the tall boy on the game day. I like it. Three of three. 91 Pacific, 91 Ultra. 92 game day. We've got to feature that one. We love those cards. Big old cards, tough to store, but they do sell top loaders for those and sleeves. But uh, they're just beautiful with autographs. The player, the featured player is in color and the rest of the card is in black and white. There against the Eagles playing there. He was a great player, 60 years old now. Defensive tackle, nose tackle. Played for 12 seasons from 83 to 94, all for those Cincinnati Bengals, as you see there. But look at those tackles, especially in 1988, 152 tackles as a nose guard. That's unheard of. But as you see, he has suffered that horrific uh, broken leg. He broke both the bones in his lower leg in the Super Bowl 23. Came back, though, played well, played for uh, – what, six seasons after that? So, yeah. Maybe the reason the Bengals lost to the 49ers because they lost. He was their, one of their most valuable players overall and definitely one of the most def valuable defensive players. When he went down, the kind of hope was lost for the Bengals over the 49ers. Had over 1,000 lifetime tackles as a nose tackle. Very rare. 34 and a half sacks. Got that back in 27 days. No fee, Tim Crumry, full-time player. It is not utility player Thursday after that return. 
Next one's coming from Tampa St. Pete. We should have opened those back to back. Tampa St. Pete. Retired ball player. Retired baseball player and coach. Same as Rick Rennick. Thick Sharpie. Daryl Knowles. Sending that rookie card we've seen in a recent mail day. Yeah, I got that back. That's cool. Andy Etchebarren has passed, so he can't sign that, but we'll take it. If you're going to get Daryl Knowles on a call, why not get the record, uh, the rookie card? 70 tops looks good, too, with the Senators. We'll feature that rookie. Left-handed pitcher. He's 78, 79 years old now. Left-handed pitcher. 16 seasons from 65 to 80 for a bunch of teams. Bright young hurlers in the Baltimore club there, as you see in 65. But he played for this world champion Oakland A's in 72, 73, and 74 when they won three in a row. He was a big part of those teams. He didn't play in 72 World Series because he had a broken thumb. But in 1973, he set a record. He appeared in all seven games in 73. Won the ring there, then won the ring the following year in 74. Became a coach after his playing days, much like uh, uh, Rick Rennick and Tim Kremer. I became a defensive line coach for several years, 15 years, I think. Uh, but Knowles became a pitching coach for the Phillies. He was an all-star in 69 and finished a, uh, with 143 saves in his career. Ten days, no fee. No fee for anyone so far. Next up, Los Angeles, California. All right, Olympic card back, Greg Luganis. Two of two, nice. That was quick. Sent those out recently. Greg Luganis signed two of two. Beautiful card. We expected that would be great for a signature, and it is. Looking good, Greg. He's one of the greatest divers of all time. If you saw the Olympics in either 84 or 88, you saw him win two golds. I think he's one of the only guys to ever to sweep the diving two consecutive Olympics. Huge, huge record. Look at that. Gold medal, 88 in Seoul. Gold medals, 84 in Los Angeles. USOC Hall of Fame in 1985. Olympic Hall of Famer, Greg Luganis. Got that back in 10 days. No fee for the Olympian hero, Greg Luganis. All right, last up, quick today. Coming from New York, New York. If he can make it there. Carl Banks, yes, one. And two, same card, 91 upper deck. When you see him signing, you got to send it out. He's 58 years old. It matches jersey number, famous number 58. 12 seasons, 84 to 95, mostly for the Giants. A couple seasons at the tail end of his career for the Redskins and for the Browns. Big tackles there, 120, 113, six and a half sacks. Finished his career with 39 and a half sacks. Another really great player. He only made one Pro Bowl, believe it or not, but he was uh, – Kind of underrated and on the same team with Harry Carson and LT. So uh, he was underrated. But believe it or not, he made the 1980s all-decade team in the NFL after making only one Pro Bowl. So that tells you how good of a player he was. Two-time Super Bowl champ with the Giants. Super Bowls 21 and 25. And after retiring as a player, he was part owner of the Arena League team in New Jersey. And now he's doing uh, radio broadcasts for the Giants. 17 days, no fee. No fee for anyone today. Thanks for watching. Rick Rennick, 7 days. Craig Grabeck, 58. Tim Crumrod, 27. Daryl Knowles and Greg Luganis, both 10. And Carl Banks, 17. Thanks so much for watching. Give me a big thumbs up. And uh, let me know down below what's your favorite. Not pointing to that, just trying to get the glare off that Daryl Knowles big fat Sharpie autograph. Hey, I'll leave a one-click subscription link right here. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Very much appreciate all my subscribers. And then if you missed Monday's TTM video, I'll put a link right there. Hey, thanks for being with me today, and we'll see you soon.